Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel, my dear friends. My name is Avilash and I'm a trader next door. In this video, I'll be analyzing the chart of gold USD. So if you're watching my videos for the first time, you can subscribe to my channel for regular market analysis. So let's get started. So my dear friends, the market is open and we can see that right after the market opening, DXY US dollar index is showing a little bit of correction. You can see here dollar eases ahead of key inflation data. It's talking about CPI which is coming on Wednesday. So Wednesday is a big day for Forex traders. So my dear friends, we need to be careful on Wednesday. But the problem is that before a big event like CPI market remains silent market do not show much volatility and today is monday as we all know it very well that during the first half of monday we don't get to see volatility much and moreover we also have cpi coming up so there is a possibility that today and tomorrow market will remain sideways market may not show uh, a particular direction market simply may remain choppy so right now we can see dollar index is standing at 104.65 okay so we can expect that market will be getting some support around 104.40 where we have the previous resistance working as support here along with that we also have the 50 moving average coming up so in this particular portion of the market here we have some buyers so let's see whether buyers are able to provide support to the market or not if market bounces from here or reverses from here or DXY continues the upside from this particular portion of the market then obviously we will get to see selling on gold again in case 104.40 fails we have next support around 104 level because of the 100 moving average overall the market is an uptrend so this is just a correction not a trend reversal correction and trend reversals are different stuff so this is the one hour chart of gold in front of us and we can see that because of the correction on the chart of dxy we can see some upside on the chart of gold here right now gold is standing at 1923 if i zoom out the chart we can see the market is standing at the fibo 23.6 percent retracement level and at the same area we also have the 100 moving average working as resistance so overall we can see the market is an uptrend but if i zoom in and ask you my dear friends what do we see here we can see the market is an uptrend market is forming green candles there is no doubt about it but you can see slowly the market is losing momentum here okay market is losing momentum market is losing strength here so there is a possibility that we may get to see some correction again from this particular portion of the chart but personally i will not go for any sell position here because usually during the first half of monday i don't i prefer to avoid because of low volatility and some um, unreliable nature of the market monday mornings and friday evenings okay i do not trade much okay so where should we go for a sell position then my dear friends if you have watched the saturday video then the levels from saturday video are still very much intact i clearly told you guys that we can look for a sell position around this area again the previous sell level of 1929 to 1931 the previous resistance is still very much valid on friday we got a nice selling opportunity and we can expect the same around 1929 to 1931 today as well especially during the asian session and european session when we don't have much volatility or volume in the market because for a breakout volume is extremely important and if the volume is missing obviously the breakout okay breakout will be uh, a false breakout okay so 1931 1929 this is the first level where you can expect a sell position and the second resistance is still the same 1932.50 to 1934 level we have FIBO 50% retracement level then we can also see we have the 200 moving average around the area and the previous support will also be acting as resistance here so if you see the market is going up during the US session European session observe the market around this area you can simply go to 50 minutes time frame also because sometimes the price is, rejection is so uh, powerful shows sharp and so uh, it happens for so uh, little time and fast that the one or time frame is very slow in that case you can simply go to 15 minutes time frame just to observe the market if you see market reversing from 30 to 35 area you can again go for a sell position so as i have said earlier that 
before CPI, market prefers to say silent, there is not much volatility. So if market remains like this according to expectation, then obviously every support level, every resistance level should work. But no level is permanent in the market, so risk management stands above all. Do not forget that. Okay, so these are the two resistances where you can look for sell position. And as I have already told you guys in my previous videos, that that there is a possibility that market will be going for trend reversal because here market was forming lower lows and lower highs for many days and we can see that the structure of the market is changing market is no longer forming lower lows and market has formed a support zone around 1915 to 1916 so during the day if the volatility of the market remains like this we can expect the buyers around 1915-16 to be present again if market takes support and bounces we can again go for a buy position at least we can expect 40 pips yes okay i'm confident about 40 pips more than that okay 40 pips is my specialty you guys are laughing i know it very well <laughs> and in case market comes down with volatility if you see that a uh, market is going down with big red candles after all dxy is positive okay so if market starts falling with big red candles then obviously you need to use your common sense use your analysis if you see the market is standing at support with big red candle what does it mean it means that selling pressure is too high no level is permanent so in that case your next level will be around 1910 to 1911 okay as i already i have shown this level in my previous videos so i do not want to bore you again 1910 1911 we have derived from fibonacci and lastly or the third support on the chart of gold is around 1904 to 1905 the previous support around this area so these are the levels where we can look for buy positions again i'm repeating if the market remains choppy because of cpi coming cpi then obviously we can expect the levels to work and we can uh, trade on reversals so the market sentiment okay understanding the market is very very important in that case so so my dear friends this is my analysis and you need to do your own analysis because if you want to become an independent trader then obviously you need to have your own uh, understanding and point of view and again i'll repeat please follow proper risk management do not gamble with your hard-earned money okay so bye bye take care see you tomorrow let's wait and watch how the market reacts bye bye